we are still working through. We are on lesson 20. Yeah, lesson 20. And we are working on exercise 2 today. It's really simple and easy. Sometimes I can get her to do several exercises, do day 2, day 3, and day 4. But then she can maybe, depending on what it is, like this is review, so she'll be probably be able to do both pages, but that's all word problems. <laughs> but today, since... She has this, which is really simple and easy. She won't have any problem with that, except for maybe down here, maybe. But since tomorrow's all word problems, I'll get her to do two problems and split it up so she's not super. stay in the room and I did put all these toys in here from upstairs because they won't go upstairs to play. So I was like, I have, they had all these toys upstairs that they weren't playing with. So they are, I brought all their stuff down here and um, they are working out okay. So they are stuck in here playing while I take them one by one and set them at the table and do work. So I've already done my first round. They've each came to the table and done one thing. The two big girls have done math, and Marley did her name, traced her name. And now I'll start my second round, so Marley will come over here, and she is doing, um, let's see, what is she doing? Oh, I'm not even. So, uh, Marley will do her, her cards, so we'll go through her ABC cards, and, uh, that's it. We'll go on, and we can see what we can do. Kenzie will probably do her cards in her McGuffey but Sorry if it's loud. Um, here we go. What's this one? Hey, what's this one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, can you sit in your seat? Job. You're doing so good today. Guitar. All right, the cup. You're done. Here we go. And it's Kenzie's turn. All right, Kenzie's turn. Um, she does pretty good with sight words. She struggles with these numbers, mainly um, these teen numbers, 12, 13, 14. Like she just struggles with those three. Even when she's counting to 20, she struggles with. Saying 13 is that th sound. She's always struggled with that. But, um, so we've added those into our sight words. Yeah, oh, please be sweet. And then, um, we've added her addition that she needs since she's already wrote that. But, yeah, that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to do a lesson from this. Yeah. Okay. Can you see? 13. Here, do it because it's. And then if you get it wrong, put it right here. I'll take it. Ten. Ten. So I'll put it in my pile. Twelve. Three plus three equals four. Six. Six. 
Okay, you can keep it. What? Eleven. And boy, 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 boy. Pot, pot. Eh, eh, eh. Hen, hen. All right, now it's me up turn. And she's going to do some curses. It's fine. I can't, they can't even see it. So now we're going to work on N, little N today. And let's look at it. Hold on, let's look at it. Look at the arrows. We'll start right there and go up, down, up, down, swoop. Okay? Almost like an M, only it's two. And we, I switched, well, I'm actually, I didn't switch her. Hey, girls. Um, she used to have started this uh, Teach Your Child to Read in 20 Easy Lessons that a, one of my homeschool mama friends has loaned me to try out. And I like this a lot better than I like this Teach Your Child to Read in 100 Easy Lessons. It's just simpler, it's cleaner. It's not so busy with all this of what I say, which I know, I can, I mean, I know what to say. I don't need the book to tell me. So, I really like this. It's just way nicer to look at. Just simplicity at its finest. So, we are going to go ahead with this with Marley. She only does one or two pages, like one page a day, if, if we do it that day. So, um... That's what she's going to do with me right now. And this is just going to be put away. Kinsey has stopped this. Um, we just do Good and Beautiful with Kinsey now. And she's been doing great. So, And as she gets further along in Good and Beautiful, I'll probably switch over to uh, all about reading since I have it. And see how she takes to that. So I forgot to give feed the kids breakfast. So um, it's 10 o'clock. We're eating breakfast now. What we are. Uh... I have the worst time with breakfasts. Breakfasts? 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 And, um, yeah, we. Breakfast <laughs> is not one of the meals that I, um, take time to make in the morning. They just kind of usually grab whatever they want. And usually it's cereal. Sometimes Marley will ask for a bagel. Mia will make, like, right now, she's making her a fried egg, herself a fried egg. And,. So, I mean, it's just, usually it's a lot earlier than this. Usually, 9 o'clock, they get their subs breakfast. But today, yeah, today we're eating pretty late. And I haven't eaten breakfast. That's why I forget breakfast for them, because I don't eat breakfast until later. I'm just not a breakfast person. So, um, while they're eating, I'm going to try to read aloud on the, blank, on the banks of Plum Creek. And, um... Some other, maybe some picture books that I want to get through. So we'll do our morning basket while they eat. So as they're eating and Mia is making her fried egg, I was like, oh, I'm really hungry. So I went ahead and made two fried eggs and two pieces of toast because I'm starving apparently. And I'm almost done with my water, so I started my coffee in the coffee pot. So that is brewing. And oh, you're eating some Cheerios. Don't drop those. Don't drop them. They are playing with Luna. Are they playing with you, Luna? Luna, are they playing with you? What are they doing? Get off my food. <laughs> they are going to, um, Mia's going to a birthday party for her cousin this weekend. So she's going to make her a dream catcher using yarn and embroidery hoop. And Kenzie's working on one too. And so uh, she's working on that. And I'm going to read aloud.
Alright, Miette is sewing. This is Miette's dream catcher that she made for a birthday present. Really simple, really cute. Hanged ribbon and yarn. And now she is sewing a heart. I if I can get over here. So she's just sewing two. I cut out a heart out of the felt. And she's just sewing. I don't. I know nothing about sewing, so I don't know what kind of stitch this is called. But it's just where you can see it on the outside around it. Because we're going to put stuffing in there to make it a little you know what to sew? plushy heart. A little bit. So it's going to be a plushy heart. And then we're going to... Um, then we're gonna um, sew it into the, in the middle of this dream catcher. So that is that, and I'll show you the finished product when she's done.